¿Qué pasó, güey? It's your homeboy, Quetzalcoatl. Welcome back to the Fuck Your Life Boxing Show. This episode is the Errol Spence versus Leonard Bundu post-fight video. Errol Spence defeats Leonard Bundu in impressive fashion as he gets an X-rated KO in the sixth round. And Leonard Bundu had actually got off to a good start in that first round. He landed a couple of decent shots, and that first round was close. It could have gone either way. I was watching the fight and reading people's reactions on Twitter at the same time, and there were some people on Twitter who were actually giving Leonard Bundu that first round. Bundu was aggressive in the first, I would say, three rounds when he was on the inside against Errol Spence, but you have to give Errol Spence credit for staying patient and not throwing wild shots in those moments. After those first couple of rounds, however, Bundu wasn't as effective with his aggression as Errol Spence began taking advantage of that aggression with his counterpunching ability. Spence was landing in combination and he slowly started breaking Bundu's ass down. And halfway through the sixth round, Errol Spence catches Bundu with a vicious left uppercut that stuns Bundu and drops him. However, You could clearly see that after he landed that uppercut, Spence pushed Bundu to the ground. But Bundu was hurt because he wouldn't have fell to the ground if he had his legs under him. It didn't really matter, though, because shortly after that, Errol Spence caught Bundu with another huge left uppercut that was followed by a right hook. And when he landed that right hook, it was all over. Bundu dropped to the ground, slumped up against the ropes, and he's just laying on the floor with his knee bent all fucked up and it was over the way he dropped it kind of reminded me of the athlete that ended up becoming viral where they made all these vines about him where he was getting sentenced in court and when he heard the sentencing he fainted and they put the voiceover on his ass like bruh that motherfucker felt like that and congratulations to Errol Spence on that brutal knockout it wasn't a huge win because at the end of the day Leonard Bundu is not a lead fighter. I mean, the motherfucker works at Pizza Hut. But when you fight a guy that works at Pizza Hut, that's how you beat him. You look spectacular against that motherfucker. As far as where Errol Spence goes from here, I think he's ready for a big fight. I said that after the Algeri fight. This bout in particular was an IBF eliminator. The IBF champ at 147 pounds is Kell Brook. I'm not sure if a fight with Kell Brook is going to be next for Spence because Kell Brook is getting ready to fight Triple G at middleweight in a couple weeks. And Kell Brook is going to get knocked the fuck out. I'm not sure if Kell Brook is going to be ready for a fight in a couple months. He might need some time to rest because Triple G is going to make his ass a good boy. If a fight with Kell Brook is impossible in a couple months, maybe a fight against Keith Thurman was the WBA champ. That'd be a huge fight, and I don't think it would be a fight that would be difficult to make as they're both under Al Heyman's advisement. You got a fight with the WBC champ that's available against Danny Garcia. Again, another fighter who's under Al Heyman. But maybe a fight with Danny Garcia might not go down because Danny Garcia is getting his fucking cherry pick on as he avoided a fight with Manny Pacquiao recently. He can wait for the winner of Manny Pacquiao versus Jesse Vargas and go for the WBO strap. That'd be another big fight as well. Now, if Errol Spence is willing to wait for Kell Brook's brain to heal after he gets knocked the fuck out, a fight that he could take in between that time is a fight versus Adrian Broner. Adrian the Bum Broner recently went back up to welterweight, and Broner has a big social media following, so that'd be a fight that would get a lot of attention before he fights Kell Brook. And speaking of Adrian Broner, he recently got out of prison. When I was covering the whole bowling alley incident and shit in the video that I made, I told you guys about the possible cellmate that he would have in prison if he got sentenced. And I was actually right. Felice Johnson did end up being Adrian Broner's cellmate. And uh, I spoke with Felice Johnson a couple days ago about Adrian Broner staying in prison. And I asked Felice Johnson, you know, What was the first thing that you told Adrian Broner when he walked in that cell? You know, when he walked through those bars, what'd you tell him? And this is what he said. Somebody's gonna have to give us some booty. And it's just that simple. (laughs) But let me know your thoughts. What did you think of this fight? 
Do you think that Errol Spence should wait on Kell Brook after Brook gets knocked the fuck out and he needs some time to heal? Do you think that Spence should fight Keith Thurman or Manny Pacquiao? Maybe a fight with Danny Garcia? Do you think a fight with Adrian the Bum Broner would be good? Let me know in the comment section. And as always, if you like this shit, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. This is your homeboy, Kitsakual. Signing the fuck on out.